All right, everyone. I'm Kamal Jones. Uh, you know, uh, Center J Productions uh, in collaborations with 13E Entertainment. Um, Patrick Bias over here with Octavius. Um, two solid, good brothers. You know, Pat is uh, really responsible for you know giving me a lot of information, a lot of inspiration to uh, go out, get this camera equipment, and do my own projects after. Me and Pat, he put me in this film, infatuated, um, seeing what he did was just mind-boggling to me to put together his own film, and um, I think the biggest thing about it is, is that, you know, we are independent filmmakers, and, you know, I don't want it to come across as, as low budget. I think what it is, is that we small numbers, high quality. So when I say action, you think he might give you some ice cream too, all right? All right. Boom, out of shot? Boom, out of shot. Remember, got be loud in the you bro. Ashley. We played back right now. This is what we do. We don't really have a big film crew. We don't really have time for all of that. Unless if it's necessary. I'm recording. Gosh. It's crazy when the camera's on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot different. Oh man, where do I start? 13E for short, whatever you want to call it. Very interesting, interesting business is a production company started by myself and um, Agri Bias, Patrick Bias, whatever you guys want to call him. Pop me that card out of there real quick. And I read her. Okay. Oh. Alright, so we're going to keep it the same ISO. Alright, tell us about 13E, Mr. Bias. 13E. Hmm. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop. Now, 13E stands for 13 Entertainment. Um, it's a production company that's run by me and Octavius. Also, Kamal. I mean, Kamal, <laughs> he's a man behind yeah, everything, yeah. too. You know, all the projects that we've done together, he's always been there. He's a hell of a person to work with. Can we move on to like, the last stuff? All right, cool. Yeah. Marlon like that too. Marlon, he lives in Oklahoma. So, you know, our group is really small. We have a small group. And the thing is, I learned as a filmmaker is that you don't need that many people to work with. You don't. Pat is out here today helping me out with, you know, the toughest thing ever, which is I got a kid and I got a dog I'm working with today. So shit is going to be real for this, you know, this, this spec commercial that we're doing. And um, just to have Pat drive out, come help me out, that just shows you the loyalty. Um, and that's going to be the true reason why we are successful. <laughs> All right, so what's your name? Daniel. Daniel? And how old are you? Five. Excited for today? Yes. That's the perfect age. I don't deal with four year olds no more. Yes. <laughs> nice. Give out one of those moments, the look up moments, alright? Alright. Let's make sure we can see the gold teeth in all your mountain and your mouth. Oh, like it. Go teeth. Why you take the gold teeth out? Put the gold teeth in. Eat the damn chips. Eat, no, eat the gold teeth. You can, you can clean the gold teeth, right? <laughs> You can clean the gold teeth. Oh, Yo, clean the gold teeth. I buy some new one. I go to Jamaica Ave and get those just for two dollars. <laughs> All right, good. let's get it. Cameras rolling. Speed. Action. It's just, I mean, I haven't had this feeling since I played like, you know, high school ball, college ball, where, you know, you just got a team and every everybody's important. Without the quarterback, without the running back, you ain't gonna win. You know what I mean? Like, you see it over and over again, like your star player uh, playing for a sucky team and not winning a championship. Marino going so many years without a ring. And it's just, but having a full team of people who's knowledgeable, talented, dedicated, hardworking, and, and, and willing to put out a great product. 
that's the people who get the Super Bowl ring. That's the people who get the championship ring. That's the person who wins every time. And um, that's what we have here. So how long you had your dog? Oh, I had her for two years. She's oh. a demonstration dog for Total Control Canine. All right, nice. What's her name? Her name is Akira. Blacks. What about you, Mr. Kamal? You, Kamal is another person that's he's been in a lot of good things. He's been in The Wire. He's been in Transformers too. Um, and it's crazy how we met. We met at the William Esper studio in the acting class. Yeah. In 06, it was... Oh, was that, 06, 07? 06. 06, yeah. Yeah, 06. it was 06. I think yeah. it was 2000, 2006, right? Summer of 06 or 07. Summer of 06. Well, you said summer 06 and 07. It's only one summer. When you yeah, right. right. <laughs> nah, summer 07. Summer 07. Summer 07. That's what it was. Summer 07. Summer of 07. Yeah. yeah, we met summer of 07. And shoot, we've just been kicking it ever since. You know, and that the thing is, like, when you just meet that person that just clicks with you, you just always have that bond, and y'all just ride out together, and that's what Kamal's just been like. It ain't easy. I make it look easy, but it ain't easy. We got talent, though. We got talent. All right, cool. Let's go. Hold up. Just getting out the car. Step it rolling. Action. Excuse me, Mr. Bunch. Oh, no doubt, baby. <laughs> That's it, right? Yeah. That's it, got Hold it. Up. So we got to get his <laughs> point of view? Yo, we should have to get some of bad boys, man. You want some? Um, yeah, man, grinding every day. Like, when people, like, I watch documentaries, I watch all this stuff, and it's like, man, y'all grind every day, I grind every day, it's hard work. I used to be like, yeah, whatever, I mean, I'm sure you grinded every day, you probably took some days off or whatever, but now actually starting a business and doing it myself and really seeing how it, like, works, like, you really, really have to grind every day just so that one person could possibly call you. So, with, like, I mean, with that in mind, you just have to go every day, every day, all day, no days off, no sleep, whatever you want to call it. I mean, probably had bags under my eyes. I drove three hours from Albany, came all the way to Long Island. Let's get one of you in there, bruh. So, um... Come on, man. Come on, man. Get a picture with the superstar, man. Come on, man. Love him, man. Love him, man. Love him, man. So you like me no more, we good? We got the perk right here. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah, smile with the gold teeth, man. You got the gold teeth, man? Yeah. I told you I'd take the gold teeth yeah. off, man. I can't even the joints in, man. Yeah. Uh, I, yo, I swear, I, thought, I, I didn't even think it was going to be like this. Like, I thought you just wanted me to come out with like a second, like, boom, boom. You <laughs> lucky. Hey, this is black people don't do it like that. No, I'm just saying, you didn't, you didn't really tell me that. I told you we doing a commotion, Dog, you didn't, I, but you didn't really say nothing, though. You should have been ready regardless. You should have been always bro. ready. Oh, that was right after the injury. You can't say more. They're all like that. They're all chubby. Oh, yeah, that, was right, that was right after my injury. After wow. My injury. That don't even look like the same person, man. How slim you got, right? Well, no, that's when, like, even when I was bigger, when I tore my ACL. Dude, that, that don't even look like the same. <laughs> Wow. And look how fat Kamal was. <laughs> <laughs> even when we have 100 people on crew and 50 million people, you know, around the world knowing our names. It started from here. It started from these seeds that we planted of extreme quality, collaborating, working hard together. Um, and as of right now, you know, 13, 13E Entertainment's in the building. You know, we got three number ones here right now. So that, that kind of fits it. First place, three people, one three. Um, you know, also in collaboration with Center J Productions. Um, so... You're going to have fun. You're going to put some work in. You will be seeing a lot of work from us coming out this summer with the the infatuate, infatuated we got coming out. Also, uh, another brother that works with us, Marlon Ladd. I mean, a 
great person, great business, great filmmaker. Um, check out his trailer, Bad to the Jones. Uh, he, did the, he, did, he did the gastric bypass surgery. Oh, he did. And he then he did. I know. <laughs> Watch us, love us, hate us if you hate us. But you better congratulate us. It's a wrap for the day. It's a wrap. We can't do this show, man. You no, know, we gotta come back. We gotta refilm and happen. You know. So good. We got some good shots. We had some fun. Put some stuff to work. It's all about Doritos, baby. Doritos. 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 Doritos.